making coils with a very thin wire for radios or whatever other applications can be a big problem. Especially uh, because the thin wire can easily break. And it's not a good idea to m make for instance a coil here and this is all thin wire and wound on a form, for instance this form, and when you solder it or want, want to integrate it in the circuit, the thin wire breaks off easily. So there is a better procedure. At first, of course, you need a form, so make a roll or take a roll, a roll from toilet paper here in this case, well varnished with this glue to make it completely unsensitive for moisture. Also this small roll made from uh, printer paper was first varnished with this glue. It's very important. I cannot stress that enough when you want to make coils. So the next step is to make the whole circuit more, more or less sensitive to break, solder a multicore or stranded wire to that very thin wire. And there are three stages here. First, wrap that thin wire around that multicore wire, stranded wire, solder it and tape it. And in this situation you have a very sturdy connection from that A pair wire to a wire that can easily be soldered. So um, that was in fact all about this issue. It's important to tell that when you make coils there is a hot side and a cold side. The cold side is where you start your winding and the top is often the hot side. These are three typical ways to make radio coils or other coils, coils for oscillators, etc. etc. And when you use a ferrite rod as a core, it's a very good idea to make it in such a way that the form can easily move on the ferrite rod to tune it in to its perfect frequency band where it has to be used or, or where it works at its optimum. So mark the windings. When you uh, give for instance the start of your winding a blue color and this could be red and this could be yellow and this green etc etc make a color code for your coil. It will be very helpful especially in oscillator circuits. Oscillator circuits with dip these types of coil will not oscillate when the phase is not correct. That's the reason why you uh, must be able to change the connections inside the oscillator circuit. So that was more or less all to tell. This is uh, the typical wire that I use. Looks like a pair. And when you want to solder it, you don't have to scrape off the isolation. You can easily burn off the isolation with the soldering iron. So the tip of the soldering iron is hot enough to burn off the oscillation and don't bother about scraping off the oscillation. Sorry, the uh, isolation. Wish you a Merry Christmas.